Is this castle guarding the gates of hell? Huska Castle has stood for almost 800 years, built not to keep evil out, but to keep it in. Let's recap. Hey, I'm Amy, and I just wanted to take a quick moment to say a big thank you to all of you who tune in to watch True Crime Recaps. We know you are busy people with hectic schedules, but still you find the time to join us for a quick recap, and it truly makes our day. And if you're feeling extra generous, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this a big thumbs up. We will take all the support we can get, and we promise to keep bringing you all the crime in half the time as long as you promise to say hello in the comments. It really makes our day. This story starts in the late 13th century at a construction site on a remote mountain range in the Kingdom of Bohemia, what's now known as the Czech Republic. Officially, Huska Castle is meant to be a sort of office building, like a central place where Bohemian ruler Ottokar II can manage his kingdom. But locals tell a different story. As the legend goes, around the year 1200, a limestone cliff in the countryside 30 miles north of Prague splits open to reveal a portal to hell. But no one believes it's a simple act of Mother Nature. Villagers report seeing winged creatures flying in and out of this deep hole. Livestock are being killed, ripped apart by what look like demonic beasts. Some locals who have the super bad luck to live closest to the mysterious hole, go missing, presumably sucked into the fires of hell itself. But not everyone believes the buzz. The region's duke thinks the peasants are nuts, and he can prove it. The answer is to send someone into the hole to find out once and for all what, if anything, is really down there. But just in case there's something to the rumors, he doesn't want to send anyone that might be missed. So he offers freedom to any prisoner brave enough to go in and report back. One young man volunteers to go first. Oh, slowly, slowly, he's lower down. Seconds after he disappears from sight, desperate screams ring out. A handful of men rush to pull him up. And at the sight of him, even the skeptical Duke is a believer. An old man now dangles on the end of the rope. The prisoner aged decades in a matter of minutes. He babbles something about another world filled with nightmarish creatures, which is explanation enough for them, and they try to seal the bottomless pit. But it swallows everything they throw at it, and the terror continues. So, the Duke goes to the king, and construction on Huska Castle begins. It's a fortress dedicated to the Archangel Michael, who led the army of God in battle against Lucifer and his fallen angels. But it's not a fortress to keep any invading armies out. It seems that everything is built to keep whatever is in it in. So slabs of heavy stone are laid over the opening, and on top of those, the castle's holy chapel is built extra protection against whatever is waiting down there in the dark. Oh, are these legends nonsense? <laughs> Maybe, but the structure is definitely strange. The castle is surrounded by thick forest miles away from the nearest town and water source. There seems to be no clear reason why that spot was chosen as some sort of central seat to manage the kingdom. So what was its functionality, really? I mean, to block the gateway to hell seems like a pretty good option. There are no stairs from the top floors to the courtyard, and the windows on top are blocked by thick walls from the inside, although from the outside, they appear to be real. And rumors about Huska Castle's real purpose persist across centuries. Don't believe it? Okay, the locals avoided the castle, but a wide range of shady characters have called it home over the years. In the early 1600s, a sadistic mad scientist named Oronto moved in. He practiced black magic and alchemy and believed that he could use the castle's dark energy to create a potion that would give him eternal life. His work scared the villagers so much that they murdered him. And 300 years later, the Nazis set up house during World War II. Now, 
You've probably heard stories about Hitler's obsession with the supernatural and the occult. Well, it is rumored that he believed the Aryan nation were descendants of a magical race of humans from Atlantis. Others say that he found the Spear of Destiny, the sword that pierced Christ's side on the cross. And with that sword, he wreaked destruction, but he lost it and then lost the war. I mean, of all the things to keep track of, the Sword of Destiny, right up there. Well, they say that the lure of being so close to hell itself led high-ranking Nazis to Huska Castle, where they allegedly conducted twisted human experiments and rituals to try and harness Satan's power for themselves. Fortunately, they were defeated before they could unlock the gates of hell. Unfortunately, they destroyed any records of their time in the castle, so exactly what they were doing behind those stone walls is a mystery, but they couldn't destroy everything. The Nazis confiscated thousands of books, art, and other historical treasures from around Europe, and thousands of those books were recovered from Huska Castle after the war. In 1999, the castle opened to the public, and thanks to decades of renovations, if you're brave enough, you can host an event there or even get married inside the castle walls. But be warned, rumors about the evil it's holding inside still persist. Visitors report hearing unearthly screams and scratching under their feet in the chapel. Locals working there say they've seen things in the woods around the castle, winged creatures, strange beings that look half human, half dog, half frog. You get the idea. Crazy things happening at that castle. So I don't know where you're going on your next vacation, but if you go there, please report back. And that's your recap. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like getting all the crime in half the time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a story. We're here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but don't go away. Catch up on more recaps right here, right now. Until next time, take care.